I don't want to get that thought out, even though my brain's just dying right now, and I can't. But anyway, there's not going to be any gameplay, I'll say that right at the start. It's just more or less going to be talking. So, I was thinking about uh, the Bacchus uh, rework here. And it was basically made to look like more like Bacchus. So, I got to thinking. This might spell gods. And back in the old days, whatever, you know, old days, gods needed to be worshipped to have their, uh, perspective like you know their power they need to you know be remembered to exist and i'm just like look through smite you got all these like different kind of deities got actual gods too some you probably wouldn't even have uh, heard of if you never really uh looked into those kind of mythologies i never knew that there was a, a sun goddess for north's mythology that was, that was really interesting now this is just a far out there theory. It's also, it kind of can become a conspiracy, too, if you really think about it. But what if, because of the of these times, you know, religion, faith, it's people finding their new spiritualities or just dismissing dismissing spirituality in general, the gods are becoming weaker. And because they're becoming weaker, they need to find a way to be remembered so they can survive. And what better way than to put the physical representations of the gods in a game? Then that way, like, that god's always in your mind that god you mean well then you're basically that god's champion you're you're maining them you're getting the, their exposure they're seeing their memory you remember their faces you know their faces indirectly you are worshiping these gods by playing them and this is just uh this is just one of those things where you just throw it together with no evidence and anything at all but the reworks, the visual reworks, are basically the gods saying indirectly to high res, Hey, I don't really look like that. I don't like being betrayed like that. I'm not like, I'm not getting like, you know, the proper amount of flow of uh, worship because it's misrepresenta misrepresentation of me. So you gotta, you gotta make it look much more sharper. You know what I mean? And that's that's what I'm thinking is that uh, essentially this entire game, and it also makes sense that it's kind of like a MOBA too because you know MOBAs are like quite popular. They have like uh, I don't know. There's just something about them like uh, I guess the, the the skill, the way it it is, and also Smite. I'll, I'll I'll pull this other rabbit out of my hat here too because of Smite's third person perspective. You you kind of see, you know, the the god in your face. So that, that image is being burned in your head, right? So because it's like, you're seeing it. It's like, you know, it's like a Freddy Krueger type shit. Like, as long as it's like in your mind, as long as it's there, it's always going to exist. So basically, stringing together random inconclusive theories here. Smite was made by the actual gods and goddesses of the different pantheons and deities so that they could sustain themselves and not be forgotten because well what other but what basically what other uh, way to do better way to like make yourself remembered than uh you know Put your face on a billboard and say, hey, that's me. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. 
I don't know if I covered everything. Also, does anyone else feel that Odin's a little ridiculous? Because he has like a ridiculous damage output and he can just build tanky. It's it's kind of funny. Let's see, what are the scalings for that that shield? That jump. Those are pretty pretty fair scalings. <coughs> Wow, that cage does more than I actually, I should really read these things. But anyway, thanks for just listening to uh, me just ramble on about how Smite was made by the gods so that they could be remembered and gain strength through the game being played. It was just a crazy thought I just had today. I just had to get it down before I forgot, but thanks for watching it.